Hey y'all, it's RuPaul's Drag Race uh, Season 7, Episode 3, Shakespeare. I have to apologize for two things. Uh, one is that my recap is late and the other is for my face. And they're both for the same reason. I went to the Medi Spa yesterday and uh, was there like pretty much all day. So I couldn't get this done. And I told them to just start scrubbing and stop when you reach bone. Because beauty's only skin deep, but vanity runs all the way to the bone. So um, I apologize for my face. I should slough it off very soon and a beautiful butterfly should emerge. Uh, anyway, this me this is for me is really the start of the season. This is the first time that we see a queen go that I'm like, oh. I mean, the ones who have left so far, don't get me wrong, I wish I could have known them a little better, but we're getting to the point where you actually kind of know who they are and you feel disappointed when they leave. So they start Old Lady Drag, which is something they haven't done and was really fun. Max and Kennedy won break into two teams, gonna pick teams. They're going to, to be doing a drag queen sort of revival of Shakespeare. So they have McBitch and um, Rami and Juliet. So uh, once again though, we see, who do we see being picked last? Violet, good guess. So uh, clearly not a favorite among the, the crew, even though she is consistently being place kind of toward the hot the top so uh, Romeo and Juliet retelling Max picks Ginger Trixie Kasha uh, Jaden and Fame and McBitch is Kennedy picks Jasmine Katya Pearl Candy and Violet and they uh, it's a cheerleading parody which I have to admit I, I have read both of these plays in high school Oh, I totally got the Romeo and Juliet one. Had a little bit of a harder problem with McBitch, but that just shows how much you remember. So we see Jaden on Max's team have a full blown panic attack and then kind of pull herself together. Been there, done that. Um, Jasmine's team, they, uh, let's see, or Kennedy's team, she uh, gives Jasmine a role and Violet and then she has to switch them. I don't think anybody was really knocking out of the park. Both teams go up in front of Rue. That's when uh, Jaden has her little panic attack. But Rue says, and you know, you always kind of can't tell because Rue is definitely a performer. So we know that um, uh, things are a little more calculated. That's how the show is. That's how this particular show is done. And we appreciate it because drag is about performance. I want to see performance. I want to see real life. I'd go do, I don't know, see the, watch the news or something and be depressed. So uh, Kennedy's team full-blown car wreck. No one knows their lines. The timing's all weird. Nobody's really acting like you would think drag queens would be totally wonderful at being like, hark, what light through window breaks? And instead it's sort of like, hark, light through window breaks. So anyway, then we get the Bitter Old Lady Brigade, which I love. It's some of the older drag queens talking, talking about experiences of Oh, a heartwarming story about visiting a lady in the hospital, and I don't know, you get all teared up and you think, oh, they're such great people. Anyway, they have a really bizarre, they have to wear a beard. I get, like, the joke, but it was just really weird. So they go down, um, Max's team wins, Max wins, and they kind of just send them off. That's kind of, there's not even really a big deal about the winner because it's so obvious. So they focus on the losing team Kennedy. Uh, Rue gets really mad about no more excuses and kind of gives them all a little, you know, spanking metaphorically. Anyway, we end up with Candy safe, Katya safe, Violet safe, and Pearl is safe by the skin of her teeth. It was a wake-up call. Jasmine and Kennedy they're both strong performers, and I had that moment where I'm like, ah, I don't want either one of them to go home. I want one of those nameless ones that I haven't figured out yet. I don't know if they're good, bad, funny, interesting, what. I want one of them to go. I, I knew who Jasmine and Kennedy were, and I was kind of bummed about it. In the end, uh, I'm a little more excited about Kennedy, so I was a little bit okay. I thought they performed wonderfully, but Jasmine goes home, so... There you go. Who is sticking out for you at this point? Who are you recognizing? I don't think... I, 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 I don't think about half of the queens. If you gave me a picture of them in drag and their name, I might not be able to match them up at this point. So tell me where you're at. 